Hi green lovers, I'm out here with my corn which I planted in early June. It's late July and look at it. It has grown a little bit taller than me and it is tasseling. Plenty, plenty, plenty of tassels forming which are the male part that create the pollen that then gets to pollinate the female part which is called the silks. You can see why it's called silks. It's like a head of pretty silky hair. Now the silks are lower down because corn is wind pollinated and so when the wind blows the tassels at the top shake and pollinate the silks below. It's a really fascinating process actually to see how this works because these tassels are the first ones to form and the silks form several days later. Now the tassels when they start off they are kind of tight. Let me show you one right here. You can see how the tassels are upright here and then you take a look over here. These tassels they have started to droop. They become light and airy and when the wind blows, they will drop their pollen. Now, there has to be something obviously to receive the pollen and that is what the silks are for. Right over there are the silks. Now, these silks, once they start to appear, grow at the rate of roughly an inch or so a day until they are pollinated. When they are pollinated, they will stop growing and then they will brown off. So, if you are seeing really, really long silks, this is a pretty long silk right here. It's probably about, oh, maybe six inches long. Now that is because they have not been pollinated because if they were pollinated, they'd be brown in color. So you do want to make sure that you pollinate them uh, within 10 days. After 10 days, they will lose viability. So you want to go out there, pollinate those silks, and then you will get that nice plump ear of corn. Now know that every single hair corresponds to a kernel of corn and if it is not pollinated you will get a partially pollinated corn cob which is not fun you want to ensure that as many of the silks as possible get pollinated so I'm gonna do some manual pollination because I can and because I don't have very many corns I've only grown a few plants obviously when you do this in a larger field the wind blows and pollinates and everything is good. But when you've got a small patch like this and not very much wind, frankly, you gotta give nature a little bit of help. Now you can see that I've put all this mesh around it. These are all my feeble attempts to keep the squirrels and the rodents out. Let's see whether I succeed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it. And it's really as simple as this. You want to break off a single strand do it carefully. This is what it looks like. and It's got plenty of pollen grains on it. And you take this and then you, you just rub it all over this. Now take your time to do this because you want to make sure that every single silk gets pollinated. So you want to get a grain of pollen anywhere along the length of the silk. Now I am going to come back again in a few days and do this again because the silks are just emerging for this one. They're going to continue to grow and uh, more silks are going to emerge. The ones that are pollinated now are going to get brown and dry off and then as new silks emerge, if I see stuff that's still green, I'm going to repollinate them. Just because I enjoy doing it and it's therapeutic. Okay, I'm going to go pollinate the rest of my corn. I hope you learned something new. Hit that like button and until next time, live green and love your greens. <music>